Hola amigos de Informa BTL, ¿cómo les va? Este, estoy con, con Jeremy, con Mark, este, justo de Integer. Ya, ya veremos un poquito de qué se trata en la entrevista con, con, el, con el gerente general, con el manager de país de Integer, ¿sí? pero estoy en el momento de la verdad. Tanto Jeremy y Mark saben cuándo el comprador, el shopper, el cliente va al estante y toma o no toma el producto, lo compra o no compra. Why you, why you say this is the moment of the real truth when the shopper gets to the retail sh uh, store and, and get the product? Why do you say that? Well, firstly, it's harder and harder to reach consumers and shopper with uh, a fragmentation of media. And I think this interview is an example of that. An interview like this used to be on uh, a network television station and now it's going to be in a, uh, a different format, probably in a blog, uh, which indicates the fragmentation of media and how viewership is getting uh, split and therefore consumers harder and harder to reach. So uh, our research indicates that uh, uh, 68 to 70 percent of purchase decisions are made at the point of purchase. OBTL, estamos aquí con Humberto Barroeda. Barroeta. Barroeta. Con Humberto Barroeta. ¿Quién es Humberto Barroeta? Yo soy el director general de Integer México. Eh, te platico un poquito de Integer si quieres. Te voy a platicar primero qué no es Integer. Integer no es una agencia de publicidad, no es una agencia BTL. Somos una agencia especializada en shopper marketing que vivimos y claro. respiramos por el retail, para hacer eh, estrategias y, y creatividad para el retail. Específico. Todo el, el comercio claro. que se lleva a cabo en el, en el retail. Retail, llamémosle cualquier cosa donde se genera una transacción, ¿no? en cualquier punto de venta. Y bueno, pues lo que queremos hacer es trabajo tanto estratégico como creativo muy relevante para nuestras marcas y para nuestros shoppers. Y ayudarles a vender mejor a las marcas en el retail. Correcto. Uh, there are all kinds of decisions happening right here at the shelf and therefore it is a very logical, efficient way to talk to shoppers. Mark, mm -hmm. if I'm a brand, a Mexican brand, consumer brand, um, what's the benefit to use an agency like Integer? Uh, specific benefits I get from you? Well, I think the, the things to pick up on what Jeremy was saying that, you, that a brand should think about and consider is, uh, you know, how does a shopper find the brand? So brands spend all this incredible amount of time uh, developing advertising and messages and like, but, you know, and this is just a representative shelf, but if you imagine a shopper coming to this shelf and, you know, think about an entire aisle, It's an overwhelming sea of choices, right? What we do as an agency, we are obsessed and focused on shopper behavior. So understanding how people act and behave in an aisle. Can they find it? Some of the things we think about in a store, and I think most agencies aren't conditioned and trained and, 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 and wired to do this, is to think about, uh, can they find it? How do people deselect? We all um, Do you know, uh, we are from the universe, or from the ATL marketing, and B BTL marketing, where are you? In which size of the shadow? You're the, in the side of the shadow of the BTL. You are from the ATL. Where are you, like agency? Well, we primarily would be classified in this outdated uh, sort of nomenclature of BTL. We actually don't believe in ATL and BTL very much anymore because messaging is everywhere now. Messaging is... Uh, every step of the way when you drive to work, messaging is here all the time. And by the way, this is one of the most important parts of shopper marketing. The information that we gather from this is profound and having a profound effect on the way people shop. Everything from ATL. So your traditional ATL agency, uh, TBWA Turan, with whom we are partners, deal very much with ATL, very much with awareness. Awareness of the product, awareness of the brand. We deal with behavior which is everything from intent to purchase in, in the, in the pre-tail world to the messaging we give to our shoppers before they enter the shopping environment, be it uh, uh, bricks and mortar or be it uh, digital, to managing their behavior in the store. And then we also do a lot of work in post-tail, which is about loyalty, advocacy. And that if you understand the shopper, and as we've been talking about the shopping behavior, you have the best chance to understand how to overcome the barriers that keep someone from buying your brand or your product. Ensuring that you have a relationship with your shoppers and that you hopefully Maybe keep that shopper the, buying it. Maybe it's the moment of the truth, shopper market. Absolutely. 
Hasta luego amigos de Informa BTL, estos dos tipos que están aquí a mis lados, ¿sí? Jeremy y Mark, saben el momento de la verdad, de la compra exacta cuando, del comportamiento del consumidor. Entonces es bueno conocer la perspectiva de dos tipos como ellos, nos vemos en el próximo podcast y recibimos nuevas tendencias de lo que es el BTL Marketing.